Today, we're going to learn how to make this crochet messenger bag. If you find this video moves too fast, look to the bottom right hand corner of your screen. You'll find a little gear button to adjust the speed to the video of your liking. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Let's hop right into it. Today we'll be using a 6mm crochet hook or a size J and I'm using worsted weight yarn. The brand is Caron 1 pound and I'm using it in two colors, green and a tan. We'll begin by making a slip knot. Chain 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. We're going to slip stitch into the very first chain to form a ring. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. This chain three counts as a double crochet. We're going to place two more double crochets into the ring. One, and two. This creates the very first cluster of our um, three double crochets chain one, place three more double crochets back into the ring, one, two, and three, chain one, place three more double crochets back into the ring, one, two, and three. Chain one again. Place three double crochets back into the ring. One, two, and three. And we're going to slip stitch to join into the very um, top of your chain three stitch. So one, two, three, slip stitch to join. And we have the very base of our um, granny square. Now, once again, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. I do my granny squares a little bit different, but they still work out perfectly fine. So remember, this chain three counts as a stitch. Right now, we're just going to go back into this very same space right here where the chain three is. It's kind of a little bit behind it. So place two more double crochets back into the space right here. One and two. This will be our three double crochets. So right here we're going to create our corner by chaining one. Now place three more double crochets back into this stitch. One, two, and three. All right, and we're going to repeat in this side because this will be a corner also. So place three double crochets into the very next space. One, two, and three. Since this is a corner, we'll chain one and place three more back into the very same space. One, two, three. We're going to repeat this on every single corner. So in this space, place three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. And in the next corner, place three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. You can pause your video here and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, we made it back around. And we're just going to slip stitch to join into the top of your chain three stitch. So one, two, three, slip stitch to join. We're going to do one more row with this color. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to place two more double crochets back into this very same space. One. and two. Since this part is our side, we're going to move on to the corner. For the corner, we're going to place three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So let's do that. One, 
two and three, chain one, place three more back into the same space, one, two, and three. All right, for our side spaces, um, stitches, we're going to just place a singular three double crochets into the space. So let's do that. One, two, and three. All right, that's the sequence we're going to do all the way around a granny square. So in your corner, you're going to do three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. And on your sides, you're just going to place three double crochet. We're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. I'll meet you when you make it to the end of the row. Okay, we've made it back around. And we are going to slip stitch a join into the top of your chain three stitch. and you can fasten off your work. Now we're just going to add the um, beige trim around the, um, your granny square. So now I'm taking my beige yarn and you can attach it to anywhere you like on your granny square. As long as you do it in a little uh, space. So chain three, one, two, three. Remember your chain three start um is a double crochet. Place uh three, I'm sorry, two double crochets back into the very same space. One and two. All right, depending on where you started your stitch, I'm still on my side, so I'm going to do another side stitch. So place three double crochet back into there. One, two, and three. And for your corner, once again, we're going to do three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. So one, two, three double crochets, chain one and place three more double crochets back into the space. One, two, and three. We're going to repeat this sequence all the way around. On all your side parts, push three double crochets into the same space, three double crochets into the same space, and on your corners, you do three double crochets, chain one, three double crochet all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, we made it back around and we're going to slip stitch to join into the very top of your chain three stitch. One, two, three, slip stitch. And you can fasten off your work. And here's what your granny square looks like so far. Okay, now that you learned how to make your granny square, I need you to go ahead and make a total of 12 more granny squares. And what we're going to do next, we are going to sew our granny squares together. We're going to make two separate panels. Our first panel is going to have a total of eight granny squares connected. Two up, I mean four up top and four alongside the bottom and I'm going to show you how to sew your parts together. Take your work and also thread yourself a needle. Find your correct side, the right side up, but we're going to be working on the wrong side. So flip your work over. To start your first um, stitch, we're going to connect at the very corner, the chain one space. And on a chain one space, we're going to pick up the outside stitch and go into your um, opposing work. 
and we're going to pick up the outside stitch. This one is the inside. We're picking up the outside stitch and pull through. And we're going to tie off the very end to make sure it's secure. You can also slip stitch this, whatever you find is easier for yourself. Okay, now that our work is secure, let's see if I can zoom in on my work so you can see exactly what I'm doing. We're going to be picking up the outside stitches again, leaving the inside stitches to show in front of your work. Show also exactly what that means. See, here is your V stitch. Let me see if I can make sure it's nice and clear. Here's your little V stitch. Here's the inside, and here's your outside. We're going to pick up that piece, and on your opposing part, Here's your V again. This first part would be, not this, I'm sorry. This would be your inside. We're picking up the outside loop. And just pull. Once again, going for the next stitch, the outside loop. Remember, here's two loops, and we're just taking the outside stitch. And take the outside stitch for the second one. and pull. Once again, outside, outside, pull. Continue working the outside stitches all the way until you make it to the very end and I'll meet you there. All right, we made it to the very end of this row, and all we have to do is combine our two chain one stitches. So once again, take the outside of your chain one stitch and the outside of your opposing chain one stitch and pull. Let me zoom out. So this is what your work looks like so far. And you can continue by adding another uh, granny square just by adding it right there. And a quick tip so you won't have a big gap in between your work. You're going to go in through the chain one space on the outside. Go through that. and you're going to go back in again through the chain one space over here. I'm sorry, the chain one space in this stitch on your right and the chain one space on um, the left. So on the right, chain one, and on the left, chain one. That's so you'll get a nice little um, close connection. All right, continue um, sewing your pieces together until you, I'm sorry, until you have a total of four squares together for your first part. So this is what your first section will look like. Four squares together, that's your first panel. And do it again for your second panel. But your second panel will have a total of eight combined. I'll insert a picture to tell you, um, show you exactly what both panels look like completed. Okay, next we're going to put a border around your um, panel. Make sure your work is um, right side up. You'll be able to tell because of the little um, seams that you created when you were um, sewing your work. I am just going to start right before the corner. We're going to put a single double crochet in each stitch and on your corner stitches we're going to place two double crochet. So we'll start that together. Attach your yarn. Chain two which does not count as a double crochet. Double crochet into the same space. 
We're going to continue to place double crochets in each stitch until you make it to your corner mark. And right now, since I started over here, I made it to the chain one space and I'm going to put two double crochets into this space. One, two. Now continue placing double crochets in each stitch. All right, I'm going to give you a quick tip when you make it to your seam. Continue placing double crochets in each stitch until you make it to this center seam right here. Okay, we made it to the center seam. This little section can be a little wonky to do. So what I do, I usually just place two double crochets within the space to fill in a gap. One, two, and it closes off that gap nicely. All right, so now let me zoom back out. Continue placing um, one double crochet all the way around, and when you make it to your corners, place two double crochets. Repeat that pattern all the way around until you make it back to your other side. We made it back around and we're going to slip stitch to join into the very first double crochet. Not the chain two stitch, but the very first double crochet. Slip stitch and you can fasten off your work. So your first big um, eight piece panel is completed. It has a border going all the way around the sides, as you can see. And we are going to do the same exact thing with your four piece panel. So we're going to attach the yarn, um, place one double crochet in each side stitch, and place two double crochet in each corner stitch all the way around, and I'll meet you at the completion of your four-piece panel. Okay, we've completed our row of double crochet, two double crochet in the corner all the way around and here's what it looks like so far and now we are going to slip stitch to join into the very first double crochet and we can fasten off our work next we're going to be adding the green color for um, the border we're going to be only working on uh, three quarters of our work so one two, three. These three corners. We're going to leave the top side open. So insert your hook. You find the, uh, the space with the two double crochets into the chain two space. Find your second double crochet and insert your hook into it. And attach your yarn. Place one half double crochet into the very same space. And we're going to place one half double crochet in each stitch around all the way into your other corner. So place one half double crochet in each stitch around, even your corner spaces, until you make it to the very first um, double crochet in your chain uh, one space here. So you can pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of this row. Okay, we made it back around. Um, I stopped on the very first double crochet in the two double crochets in the chain one space. And we are going to chain one, turn your work, and we're going to repeat this sequence one more time. We're going to place a half double crochet in each stitch until you make it into the opposing corner. All right, you can pause your video here, and I'll meet you at the completion of this row. Okay, we've made it back around and completed this row. As you can see, our corners are starting to turn up um, like a hat would when you stop decreasing your rows. So right now, we're going to combine the, um, put both panels together. Let's see if I can zoom out. Make sure both your work is going to be inside out. So the um, right side of your work, we'll be working on the wrong side. So this is the um, my wrong side. And also on the opposite side, let me get this correct too. Your work will be on the wrong side. So 
So right now, I'm going to try to show you, I'm going to insert a picture on exactly what it looks like and how we're going to lay this together because it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing right now. I'll try to raise the camera up so you can see a little bit. See the bottom parts right here and this is where the purse flap will go. And we're going to connect two sides together using slip stitches. So find the very seam of your work, two panels up, one, two, right here the seam, and insert your hook and slip stitch to join, chain one, and we are going to turn our work. We are going to slip stitch the front stitch and also the back stitch together to combine our work. I'll show you again, front stitch back stitch, perform a slip stitch, front stitch, back stitch, perform a slip stitch. Continue slip stitching your work all the way around until you make it to the other side. So pause your video here, complete your work, and I'll meet you at the completion of this row. All right, we made it back around slip stitching to join both of your panels. So pull your loop pretty long. This is what your work looks like so far. Right now, we're going to turn our work to the correct side out. So let's do that together. Turn your purse the right side out. And let's find the loop that we were previously working on. Okay, here it is. We're going to chain one. We're going to place three half double crochet, I'm sorry, three single crochets into each, let me rephrase that again, we're going to place a single crochet into each one of your half double crochet rows. So this is one, two into the next half double crochet row, and three. I'm sure I said that more complicated than it was necessary. All right, we're going to continue placing single crochets all the way across the um, border of your purse. So continue placing single crochets in each stitch across until you make it into your green seam on this side. So pause your video here. Okay, we made it back to the little um, green seam and we're going to place one single crochet into each one of the half double crochet rows. All right, that sounds a lot better than what I said the last time. One, two, and three. Now we're going to be working, let's see if I can zoom out again, alongside the flap of your purse. To do that, just like we did before, place a single crochet into each stitch. So continue placing single crochets all the way around your work in each individual stitch until you make it to the other side. So you can pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of this row. Okay, once you complete putting your row of single crochet around the edge of your purse, you're just going to slip stitch the join at the very end. So next, we're going to work on the strap to your purse so we can finish this all off. I made this strap here. It does not have a lot of give. It won't um, hurt your shoulder when you put things into your bag. And I'll teach you how to make this um, sturdy strap for your purse. Also, I switched over into a 4 millimeter crochet hook. Let's see if you can zoom in and see that. All right, you should go ahead and chain um, 150 for the strap. Um, right now I'm just going to do a smaller swatch version of this so you can pause your video here and come back to me once you have your 150 chained. Alright, like I said, I'm only doing a small version of this. With your 150, you need to put a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then you'll single crochet all the way across your work. Alright, you can pause your video here and continue placing single crochets all the way across your work and I'll meet you at the very end of your row. 
Okay, we made it to the end of the row. And in your very last chain stitch, I want you to put two double, I mean two single crochets. So that's one and two. Now we're going to be working on the bottom side of your chain. We're going to place one single crochet in each one of the stitches all the way down. So continue placing one single crochet in each stitch. You can pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of all your single crochets. Alright, once you get to the very end of your row, you're just going to slip stitch to join into the very first um, single crochet. And you can fasten off your work. And this is what it looks like so far. So right now we have the base of our single crochet like this and your chain stitch will be in the middle of your work. Now we're going to add this little pretty uh, detail going down the center of your purse strap. In order to do that we'll check our second color. And we're just going to tie on the new color. I'm having trouble tying a knot. There we go. You have your new color. So what I want you to do, insert your hook into the very first little knot space you see right here. I'll try to stretch my work so you can see. We'll be working into these little holes from the original chain stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook into the very first one. I'm going to zoom in so you can be able to see better. Take the yarn from behind and pull up. Go into the little hole next space, put your hook through, and perform a slip stitch. Next space, little hole right here, go in, pull up a loop, slip stitch. Go into the next space, we're going to continue doing this all the way down your uh, purse strap. This takes away some of the give in your um, purse strap so it won't hurt your shoulder. See the stretch that you did have before is taken away from because of this slip stitch. So pause your video here, continue placing this running slip stitch down the middle of your purse strap and I'll meet you at the very end. Once you get to the very end, take your working yarn, pull through and fasten off. And this is my mini version of that. And once this is all done, you can turn your purse inside out and just sew your purse straps on like I did here. And your purse is all done. And oops, sorry. And I'll give you up close of what your purse looks like completed. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Also, why don't you check out my other videos like this crochet owl basket. Also, leave a comment down below on a tutorial you'd like to see in the future. Alright guys, I'll see you all on the next video.